So, within the world of One Piece, there are many characters who have been gifted these strange abilities by these mystical objects known as Devil Fruit, or Akuma no Mi. A person who eats a Devil Fruit becomes a Devil Fruit user and gains superhuman powers. The downside, however, is that when they are submerged in water or touch sea prism stone, Cairo Seki, a special stone that emits an energy identical to the oceans, it will disable their Devil Fruit powers and they will be completely powerless. When somebody eats a devil fruit, they instantly know the exact name of the fruit and the powers that it gives them. A person may only eat one devil fruit at a time, and if a person tries to eat a second, they will die. There is one exception to this rule, Blackbeard, but it has yet to be explained, so... I don't know. There are three main types of devil fruit, Logia, Zolan, and Paramecia. Logia fruit allows the user to create, control, and transform into a natural element, such as fire, smoke, or lightning. Users of this fruit type are effectively impervious to physical attacks, unless their attacker can use armament haki, but I'm not getting into that yet. So and fruit allow the user to transform into a specific animal and also a hybrid of that animal combined with their own body. These fruit are said to have a life of their own and have been somehow applied to objects to give them life and transformative abilities. There are three sub-classifications of zoan fruit, ancient, mythical, and artificial. Ancient zoan fruit allow the user to transform into extinct species, such as dinosaurs. Mythical zoan fruit allow the user to transform into mythological creatures, such as a dragon or a phoenix. These are like with the rarest type of devil fruit in existence. And artificial zoan fruit are zoan fruit that have been manufactured by humans. They typically give the user a characteristic of an animal instead of allowing them to transform, but some can transform at will anyway. The major downside of these artificial fruit is that on consumption, there is a 90% chance that the user will receive no powers, lose the ability to swim, and lose the ability to express negative emotion, leaving them only the ability to smile and laugh regardless of how they actually feel. Paramecia fruit are the most common type of devil fruit, and they give a wide variety of powers. Essentially, all Paramecia fruit are fruit that do not fall into the Logia or Zoan category. There are some cases of artificial Paramecia fruit as well that have only really recently been introduced. Devil fruits are created through a cycle of reincarnation. When a devil fruit user is killed, the fruit power that they had is immediately reborn into a new fruit of similar shape to the fruit they had eaten. We don't exactly know how this cycle began or how the devil fruit were originally created, though. Also, I'm going to spoil a lot of things in this video, including spoilers up until very, very recently in the manga. So if you're an anime watcher or if you want to watch One Piece or maybe even considering it, I would not watch the rest of this video. But it's up to you. It's not like the most major spoilers for most of it, but there are some pretty major spoilers. Um, rarely, Devil Fruit users can awaken their powers. An awakened Devil Fruit power is typically much stronger than normal. For a Paramecia Fruit, this user is typically allowed to apply their abilities to other objects, such as Don Quixote Doflamingo's Ito Ito no Mi, the string string fruit. After awakening his fruit, Doflamingo was able to convert his surroundings into strings that he could control. When a Zoan fruit awakens, there seems to be a possibility that the user will lose all capability of complex thought, such as with the Jailer Beasts and Impelled Down. This is not always the case though, as Rob, Lucci, and Kaku have awakened their fruits, giving them access to awakened forms of their respective animals that appear to sort of resemble like holy entities or like animal deities. The only mythical Zoan ever to be awakened is the Hitohito no Mi model Nika. 
This fruit, when awakened, allows the user to transform into an incarnation of the sun god, Nika, and gives them the ability to manipulate their body and the body of others, like rubber, at will. The awakened form also fills them with constant joy at all times, and this fruit was renamed to the Gomu Gomu no Mi to cover up its true nature, and it was eaten by the main character, Monkey D. Luffy. At the time of writing, there are 150 canon devil fruit in One Piece. There's about 70 non-canon ones, I think. But I'm only going to talk about the canon ones. And now, I'm going to list all of them, along with their uses and their effects. Okay. Okay, so for the Paramecia fruit, first up, these will be in release order, I believe, by the way. The Gomu Gomu no Mi, or the Gum Gum Fruit, was eaten by Monkey D. Luffy, and it effectively gives the user's body the properties of rubber. They can't be damaged by like blunt trauma, such as being punched or clubbed. They also can't be shot, with regular bullets anyway. And bladed attacks will work against them though, so that's something to be careful about. The Bara Bara no Mi, the Chop Chop Fruit, was eaten by Buggy the Clown. It basically, it's it's a little weird, but uh, it allows the user to split their body into separate parts, which they can manipulate and levitate through the air. It does make them completely immune to slashing attacks. Even with Haki, it, they will not be damaged. When they're slashed, they just split like they use their Devil Fruit power willingly. The split body parts can only move a... 200 barabara bara distance away from the user's feet, which must be touching the ground. If the parts go outside of this distance, the user loses control of them, but they do still function. The Sube Sube no Mi, the Slip Slip or Smooth Smooth Fruit, eaten by Alvida, the effects is it basically makes the user's skin extremely smooth and slippery. All attacks objects, and even excess body fat slide right off, and it renders them basically immune to conventional damage. The Bomu Bomu no Mi, the Bomb Bomb or Boom Boom fruit, eaten by Gem or Mr. Five, the effect basically allows the user to create explosions and give their bodily secretions explosive properties. It also makes them immune to explosions. The Kiro Kiro no Mi, or the Kilo Kilo fruit, eaten by Mikita. The effects, it basically just allows them to make themselves heavier or lighter at will, between 1 and 10,000 kilograms. The user is unaffected by their own weight, and they can move normally even if they weigh 10,000 kilograms. And their resistance to external forces does not appear to be affected by their weight changing. But it's not... It hasn't been like seen a whole lot, so it's a bit hard to tell. The Hana Hana no Mi, or the Flower Flower Fruit, eaten by Nico Robin. It basically, it allows the user to create duplicate copies of their body parts on nearby surfaces. They, they have full functionality, including like sight and hearing and feeling. The user requires vision of the surface to sprout their limbs on it. But besides that, the limbs can be sprouted on, like, practically any surface, including other people. So it's pretty strong. The Doru Doru no Mi, or the Wax Wax Fruit, was eaten by Galdino. It allows the user to create and control candle wax. When the wax hardens, it is as strong as steel, apparently. The user will become significantly weakened if they're placed in an environment of extreme heat, though, as they're effectively made out of wax, so they start to, like, melt, kind of. So, ugh. The Baku Baku no Mi, the Munch Munch Fruit, eaten by Wapol. Uh, it allows the user to expand their mouth, like, really wide and eat absolutely anything. Like, even if it would normally be completely inedible, they can eat it. They can take on the characteristics and functions of anything they've eaten in the past 24 hours. 
The user can also fuse things that they've eaten together and spit them out to create new objects. A side effect of this though is that the user is rendered constantly hungry no matter how much they eat. The Mane Mane no Mi, or the clone clone fruit, formerly eaten by Kurozumi Higurashi and currently eaten by Bentham, uh, the effects it allows the user to transform into a physical lookalike of any person whose face they have touched. The user only takes on their appearance though, not their abilities. If they're like struck, um, the d disguise is just reversed and they turn back to normal. The Super Super no Mi, or the Dice Dice Fruit, eaten by Daz Bones, it allows the user to transform parts of their body into blades and it simultaneously makes their body effectively as hard as steel. Makes it very hard to cut, but not impossible, obviously. The Toge Toge no Mi, or the Spike Spike Fruit, eaten by Zala, allows the user to grow spikes from their body. The spikes are strong enough to penetrate stone, so that's pretty dangerous. The Ito Ito no Mi, or the String String Fruit, eaten by Don Quixote Don Flamingo, it allows the user to create and control strings. The strings are razor sharp and possess extreme strength, making them very difficult to destroy. And they're also difficult to see with the naked eye as they are extremely thin. The Noronoro no Mi, or the slow, slow fruit eaten by Foxy, allows the user to emit photons that on contact with something puts them in a state of slow motion for 30 seconds. The Doa Doa no Mi, or the Door Door Fruit, eaten by Bluno, it allows the user to create and open doors on absolutely anything, including the air and other people. That appears when a door is opened on the air, it creates a pocket dimension sort of thing that the user can enter. I assume other people can enter it too, but the user can only open the door. The Awa Awa no Mi, or the Bubble Bubble Fruit, eaten by Califa, it allows the user to create soap bubbles that can clean anything, including the strength off of an opponent. So that's interesting. The Berry Berry no Mi, or the Berry Berry Fruit, eaten by Very Good, it allows the user to split their body into many spheres. Yeah. The Sabi Sabi no Mi, or the Rust Rust Fruit, eaten by Shu, allows the user to rapidly rust anything they touch. The Shari Shari no Mi, or the Wheel Wheel Fruit, eaten by Shari and Guru, allows the user to turn their limbs into wheels. The Horo Horo no Mi, or the Hollow Hollow Fruit, eaten by Perona, allows the user to create and control these ghosts called Hollows. These ghosts can have different effects such as placing anyone they touch into a state of despair or exploding violently. The user can leave their body via astral projection as well, and uh, later in the story, the user, Perona, learned how to fly through the air just naturally. So that's probably also something you can do. The Yomi Yomi no Mi, or the Revive Revive Fruit, eaten by Brook, allows the user's soul to return to the living world after they die, coming back to life. They can temporarily leave their reanimated body as well. And the user's soul also exudes a freezing cold, which can be weaponized. The Kage Kage no Mi, or the Shadow Shadow Fruit, eaten by Gecko Moria, allows the user to manifest and control shadows. They can animate and control their shadow, as well as stealing and absorbing other people's. The shadows can be placed into corpses, which reanimates them, and a person without a shadow will die if they are hit by sunlight. The Suke Suke no Mi, or the Clear Clear Fruit, formerly eaten by Absalom until he was killed, and now eaten by Shiryu. The effects, it allows the user to turn invisible, and anything they touch can also be turned invisible by the user. The Niku Niku no Mi, or the Paw Paw Fruit, eaten by Bartholomew Kuma, gives the users paw pads on their hands that repels anything that they touch. They can also repel intangible things such as pain or memories, which manifest them as this big paw bubble. 
The Jiki Jiki no Mi, or the Magnet Magnet Fruit, eaten by Eustace Kidd, allows the user to manipulate magnetic forces. When it's awakened, the user can turn other objects or people into magnets. The Ope Ope no Mi, or the Op Op Fruit, eaten by Trafalgar Law, allows the user to create a bubble, called a room, which while inside, the user can manipulate the fabric of space. The effects of this include, but are not limited to, teleportation, telekinesis, cutting things without them being damaged, reassembling objects, generating high voltage energy, and granting eternal youth at the cost of the user's life. Awakening this fruit allows the user to create special kinds of rooms, effectively allowing the user to perform techniques on a target without being inside of a room first. The Shiro Shiro no Mi, or the Castle Castle Fruit, eaten by Capone Veggie, allows the user to become a living fortress. People and objects can enter the user and be housed inside, and they become very small. The Wara Wara no Mi, or the Straw Straw Fruit, eaten by Basil Hawkins, allows the user to create and control straw. They can also make straw voodoo dolls, and if the user is damaged, the damage is transferred to those the voodoo dolls are tied to. The Oto Oto no Mi, or the Tone Tone Fruit, eaten by Scratchman Apu, allows the user to transform parts of their body into musical instruments and weaponize the sounds that they make. The Mero Mero no Mi, or the Love Love Fruit, eaten by Boa Hancock, allows the user to petrify people who feel attraction to the user. The Doku Doku no Mi, or the Venom Venom Fruit, eaten by Magellan, allows the user to create and control poisonous substances. It also makes them immune to poisonous substances. The Horu Horu no Mi, or the Horm Horm fruit, eaten by Emporio Ivankov, allows the user to create special body-altering hormones. They can also turn their fingernails into syringes that can inject these hormones into other people's bodies. And also their own. The Chocky Chocky no Mi, or the Snip Snip fruit, eaten by Inazuma, allows the user to transform parts of their body into scissors. Anything these scissors cut briefly gains the properties of paper. The Gura Gura no Mi, or the Tremor Tremor fruit, formerly eaten by Edward Newgate, or Whitebeard, and currently used by Marshall D. Teach, or Blackbeard, allows the user to create quakes and shockwaves. The Kira Kira no Mi, or the Twinkle Twinkle Fruit, eaten by Jozu, allows the user to transform their body into diamond. The Poke Poke no Mi, or the Pocket Pocket Fruit, eaten by Blamenko, gives the user a pocket on their body that can hold items of very large size. The user can retrieve the items at will, and they will return to their original size when they leave the pocket. The Washu Washu no Mi, or the Wash Wash Fruit, eaten by Suru, allows the user to literally wash a person and fold them like they were laundry. This makes the victim's heart cleaner, apparently. The Fua Fua no Mi, or the Float Float Fruit, eaten by Shiki, allows the user to fly, as well as giving them the ability to make any non-living thing they touch levitate. The Deca Deca no Mi, or the Huge Huge Fruit, eaten by San Juan Wolf, allows the user to greatly increase the size of their body. The Mato Mato no Mi, or the Mark Mark fruit, eaten by Van der Decken the Ninth, allows the user to mark a person by touching them. Any weapon thrown with the same hand they mark them with will chase after them from a very long distance. The Fuku Fuku no Mi, or the Garb Garb fruit, eaten by Kiamon, allows the user to make clothing. Wow. The Hobby Hobby no Mi, or the Hobby Hobby fruit, eaten by Sugar, allows the user to turn people into toys by touching them. Anyone turned into a toy is instantly erased from the memories of all people who knew them, and the user can make contracts with the toys within a short window after they have been turned to make for, force them, effectively, to do whatever they want. The Buki Buki no Mi, or the Arms Arms Fruit, eaten by Baby5, allows the user to turn their body into any kind of weapon. You can turn different body parts into different weapons and stuff like that. The Guru Guru no Mi, or the Spin Spin Fruit, eaten by Buffalo, allows the user to make any part of their body spin. 
the better better no me or the stick stick or sticky sticky fruit eaten by treble allows the user to create and control mucus mm. the zushi zushi no me or the press press fruit allows the user to control gravity and it was eaten by isho or fujitora the bari bari no me or the barrier barrier fruit was eaten formerly by kurozumi semimaru and is currently used by bartolomeo it allows the user to create barriers by crossing their fingers the barriers can be shaped into constructs but only one can be made at a time the nui nui no mi or the stitch stitch fruit eaten by leo allows the user to stitch things together this also works on people the giro giro no mi or the glare glare fruit eaten by viola allows the user to see through solid objects and over vast distances it also allows them to see into people's minds and memories. The Ato Ato no Mi, or the Art Art Fruit, eaten by Giola, allows the user to transform people and objects into art, rendering them effectively unable to function. The Jake Jake no Mi, or the Jacket Jacket Fruit, eaten by Kelly Funk, allows the user to transform into a full body jacket if a person wears the user the user can control the body of the person wearing them allowing them to take advantage of both the wearer and the user's physical abilities the pamu pamu no mi or the pop pop fruit eaten by gladius allows the user to expand and rupture their body and inanimate objects that they touch the sui sui no mi or the swim swim fruit eaten by senior pink allows the user to swim through solid ground and walls. The ton ton no mi, or the tan tan fruit, eaten by Mark Weiss, allows the user to drastically increase their body weight, even more than the kira kira no mi. It's just better than the kira kira no mi. The hira hira no mi, the ripple ripple fruit, eaten by Diamante, allows the user to give anything they touch the properties of fabric. This includes their own body. They can turn them back as well. The Ishi Ishi no Mi, or the Stone Stone Fruit eaten by Pika, allows the user to assimilate into and control stone. The Fude Fude no Mi, or the Brush Brush Fruit, formerly eaten by Kurozumi Kanjuro, currently eaten by no one, allows the user to, user to create and control ink, as well as manifest and manipulate anything that they draw with a brush. The Nagi Nagi no Mi, or the Calm Calm Fruit, eaten by Don Quixote Rosanante, or Corazon, allows the user to nullify sound. They have like a bubble that they can nullify sounds from. The Chiyu Chiyu no Mi, or the Heal Heal Fruit, eaten by Mancherry, allows the user to heal people's wounds. Pretty simple. The Maki Maki no Mi, or the Scroll Scroll Fruit, eaten by Rizo allows the user to create and control scrolls that have various special properties, including storing objects. The Soru Soru no Mi, or the Soul Soul Fruit, formerly eaten by Carmel until she died, and then eaten by Charlotte Linlin, or Big Mum, allows the user to extract the soul or slash lifespan from people who fear them. These souls can be used to bring objects to life, and these objects are subservient to the user. Objects brought to life with a fragment of the user's own soul are stronger than others. The Mirror Mirror no Mi, or the Mirror Mirror Fruit, eaten by Charlotte Brulé, allows the user to create mirrors that can reflect attacks. The user can also transform living things, including themselves, into reflections of their chosen target. The user can also travel to the mirror world by entering any mirror. Other people touching the user will also be transported there. The Pero Pero no Mi, or the Lick Lick Fruit, eaten by Charlotte Perospero, allows the user to create and control candy. The Bisu Bisu no Mi, or the Bis Bis Fruit, eaten by Charlotte Cracker, allows the user to create and control biscuits. The Bata Bata no Mi, or the Butter Butter Fruit, eaten by Charlotte Galette, allows the user to create and control butter. The Buku Buku no Mi, or the Book Book Fruit, eaten by Charlotte Mondor, allows the user to manipulate books and trap people inside them. The Curry Curry no Mi, or the Cream Cream Fruit, eaten by Charlotte Opera, allows the user to create and control cream. 
The Shibo Shibo Nomi, or the Ring Ring Fruit, allows Charlotte Smoothie, who is the user, allows the user to drain liquid from people and objects, as well as transfer that liquid to their own body, making them bigger and stronger. The Memo Memo Nomi, or the Memo Memo Fruit, eaten by Charlotte Pudding, allows the user to manipulate people's memories. The Mochi Mochi Nomi, or the Mochi Mochi Fruit, eaten by Charlotte Karakuri, is a, is a special case because this is a special paramecia. It allows the user to create control and transform into mochi, but it's not a logia, it's a paramecia. It acts like a logia, but it's not. The Hoya Hoya Nomi, or the Puff Puff Fruit, eaten by Charlotte Daifuku, allows the user to summon a warrior genie by rubbing their belly. The Netsu Netsu Nomi, or the Heat Heat Fruit, by eaten by Charlotte Oven, allows the user to emit a high heat from their body. The Cuckoo Cuckoo no Mi, or the Cook Cook Fruit, eaten by Stroyson, allows the user to transform objects into poor tasting but nutritious food. The Gocha Gocha no Mi, or the Pile Pile Fruit, eaten by Charlotte Nushi, allows the user to fuse themselves with other people. The Oshi Oshi no Mi, or the Push Push Fruit, Eaten by Morley allows the user to manipulate the ground as if it was clay. The Kobu Kobu no Mi, or the Pump Pump Fruit, eaten by Bello Betty, allows the user to rally people into fighting or awaken people's latent potential. The Kibi Kibi no Mi, or the Millet Millet Fruit, eaten by Tama, allows the user to create delicious but not nourishing dango from their cheek. Any animal that eats these dango becomes subservient to the user for one month. The Toki Toki no Mi, or the Time Time Fruit, formerly eaten by Kozuki Toki until she was killed, allows the user to send themselves and others forward in time. Only forward. The Juku Juku no Mi, or the Ripe Ripe Fruit, eaten by Shinobu, allows the user to rapidly mature and decay people or objects that they touch. The Shiku Shiku no Mi, or the Sick Sick Fruit, eaten by Doc Q, allows the user to inflict others with diseases. It also seemingly renders the user constantly sick. The Wapu Wapu no Mi, or the Warp Warp Fruit, eaten by Van Auger, allows the user to transform them, uh, teleport themselves and others. Uh, the Riki Riki no Mi, or the Strong Strong Fruit, eaten by Jesus Burgess, gives the user superhuman strength. The Nomi Nomi Nomi, or the Brain Brain Fruit, eaten by Vegapunk, allows the user's brain to store an indefinite amount of information and recall everything they learn. It also causes their brain to expand indefinitely as they learn new stuff as a result. The Shima Shima Nomi, or the Isle Isle Fruit, eaten by Avalo Pizarro, it allows the user to merge with and control entire islands. The Gabu Gabu no Mi, or the Glug Glug Fruit, eaten by Vasco Shot. We don't really know what it does yet. Something to do with alcohol. Yeah. The Muchi Muchi no Mi, or the Whip Whip Fruit, eaten by Kujaku, allows the user to turn whatever they touch into a whip and control objects by whipping them. And there are two unnamed fruits. Jewelry Bonnie's Fruit gives her the power to manipulate the age of people or objects, and Uruja's Fruit gives him the ability to convert damage taken into strength somehow. Okay, that's the Paramecia's done. All right, Logia Fruit. These are generally very powerful. So that's one thing to note. The Moku Moku no Mi, or the Smoke Smoke slash Plume Plume Fruit, eaten by Smoker, allows the user to create, control, and transform into smoke. The Suna Suna no Mi, or the Sand Sand Fruit, eaten by Crocodile, allows the user to create, control, and transform into sand. The Mera Mera no Mi, Flame Flame slash Flare Flare Fruit, formerly eaten by Portgus D. Ace, currently eaten by Sabo, allows the user to create, control, and transform into fire. The Goro Goro no Mi, the Rumble Rumble Fruit, eaten by Anel, allows the user to create, control, and transform into lightning. 
the Hie Hie no Mi, the chili chili slash ice ice fruit used by Kuzan, allows the user to create, control, and transform into ice. The Yami Yami no Mi, the dark dark fruit used by Marshall D. Teach or Blackbeard, allows the user to create, control, and transform into darkness. The darkness has extreme gravitational properties, and their elemental body contains an infinite amount of space. The Pika Pika no Mi, or the Glint Glint Fruit, eaten by Borsalino, allows the user to create, control, and transform into light. The Magu Magu no Mi, or the Mag Mag Fruit, eaten by Sakazuki, allows the user to create, control, and transform into magma. The Susu Susu no Mi, or the Soot Soot Fruit, eaten by Karasu, allows the user to create, control, and transform into soot. The Numa Numa no Mi, or the Swamp Swamp Fruit, eaten by Karabo, allows the user to create, control, and transform into mud. The user is a bottomless swamp, effectively, with an infinite amount of space in their elemental body, and the mud can be given the properties of quicksand. The Gasu Gasu no Mi, or the Gas Gas Fruit, eaten by Caesar Clown, allows the user to create, control, and transform into any gas. They, it also allows them to like manipulate the gas around them so they can suck all the oxygen out of the air. The Yuki Yuki no Mi, or the Snow Snow Fruit, formerly used by Monet until she was killed, allows the user to create, control, and transform into snow. The Mori Mori no Mi, or the Woods Woods Fruit, used by Aramaki, allows the user to create, control, and transform into flora. This effectively makes them a living forest. Okay, not very many logos. Okay, the Zoans are a little different because they're all part of like these various series. It'll, it'll make sense when I start going through. So, the Ushi Ushi no Mi, the Ox Ox Fruit series, has two models. The first model is the model Bison, used by Dalton. It allows the user to transform into a Bison or a Half Bison hybrid. The second model is model Giraffe, used by Kaku. It allows the user to transform into a giraffe or a half giraffe hybrid. Pretty simple. Okay, the Hito Hito no Mi, or the Human Human Fruit series, has four models. The standard model, which is just the Hito Hito no Mi, used by Tony Tony Chopper. It allows the user to transform into a human. Presumably, when a human eats it, it does nothing. When an animal eats it, they gain human intelligence and the ability to speak, along with the ability to become a half human hybrid. The model Daibutsu, eaten by Sengoku, allows the user to transform into a Daibutsu, a giant gold Buddha, or a half Daibutsu hybrid. The model Onyudo, eaten by Onimaru, allows the user to transform into an Onyudo, which is a monkey yokai, or a half Onyudo hybrid. If an animal eats it, they gain human intelligence and the ability to speak. And the model Nika, eaten by Monkey D. Luffy, gives the user's body the properties of rubber. Also, it allows them to transform into an incarnation of the sun god Nika, giving them the ability to fight however they like and bringing joy to those around them. Renamed to the Gomu Gomu no Mi by the world government, and reclassified as a Paramecia to cover up its existence. The Tori Tori no Mi, or the Bird Bird Fruit series, has three models. Model Falcon, eaten by Pell, allows the user to transform into a falcon, or a half falcon hybrid. The model Phoenix, eaten by Marco, it allows the user to transform into a phoenix, or a half phoenix hybrid. The flames produced by the user have healing properties. Model Albatross, eaten by Morgans. It allows the user to transform into an albatross, or a half albatross hybrid. The Inu Inu no Mi, or the Dog Dog Fruit series, has... Let me see... Six models. The model Dashund eaten by Bebe's Babe's Gun, Lasso, I think that's how you say that. It allows the user to transform into a Dachshund, or a half Dachshund hybrid. The model Jackal, eaten by Shaka, allows the user to transform into a Jackal, or a half Jackal hybrid. The model Wolf, eaten by Jabra, allows the user to transform into a Wolf, or a half Wolf hybrid. The model Tanuki, eaten by Kozuki Sukiyaki's Teapot Bunbuku, it allows the user to transform into a tanuki, or a half tanuki hybrid. 
the model Kubi no Kitsune, eaten by Katarina de Vaughan, it allows the user to transform into a nine-tailed fox, or a half-nine-tailed fox hybrid. And the model Okichu no Makami, eaten by Yamato, it allows the user to transform into an Okichi no Makami, which is a wolf deity, or a half Okuchi no Makami hybrid. The Uma Uma no Mi, or the Horse Horse Fruit series, the standard model, it was eaten by Gunfall's pet bird Pierre. It allows the user to transform into a horse or a half horse hybrid. And the model Pegasus, eaten by Doc Q's horse Stronger, it allows the user to transform into a Pegasus or a half Pegasus hybrid. <clears throat> the Neko Neko no Mi, or the Cat Cat Fruit series, the model, it has two models, the model Leopard, eaten by Rob Lucci, it allows the user to transform into a leopard or a half leopard hybrid. In the model Saber Tiger, eaten by Who's Who, it allows the user to transform into a Saber Tiger or a half Saber Tiger hybrid. The Zozo no Mi, or the Elephant Elephant Fruit series, has two models. The standard model, eaten by Spandam's Sword Funk Freed, allows the user to transform into an elephant or a half elephant hybrid. The model Mammoth, in by Jack, allows the user to transform into a mammoth or a half mammoth hybrid. The Ryu Ryu no Mi, or the Dragon Dragon Fruit series, has six models. The model Allosaurus, eaten by X Drake, allows the user to transform into an Allosaurus or a half Allosaurus hybrid. The model Spinosaurus, Eaten by Page One allows the user to transform into a Spinosaurus or a half Spinosaurus hybrid. The model Pteranodon, eaten by King, allows the user to transform into a Pteranodon or a half Pteranodon hybrid. The model Brachiosaurus, eaten by Queen, allows the user to transform into a Brachiosaurus or a half Brachiosaurus hybrid. The model Patri the model Pachycephalosaurus, eaten by Ulti allows the user to transform into a Pachycephalosaurus or a half Pachycephalosaurus hybrid. And the model Triceratops, eaten by Sasaki, allows the user to transform into a Triceratops or a half Triceratops hybrid. They're all dinosaurs. Um, the Heavy Heavy Nomi, the Snake Snake Fruit series, has three models. The model King Cobra, eaten by Boa Marigold, allows the user to transform into a King Cobra or a half King Cobra hybrid. The model Anaconda, in by Boa Sander Sonia, allows the user to transform into an Anaconda or a half Anaconda hybrid. And the model Yamata no Orochi, formerly eaten by Kurizumi Orochi until he was killed, allows the user to become a Yamato no Orochi, an eight-headed snake, or a half Yamato no Orochi hybrid. The Mushi Mushi no Mi, or the Bug Bug Fruit series, has two models. The model Kabuto Mushi, eaten by Kabu, allows the user to become a rhinoceros beetle, or a half rhinoceros beetle hybrid. It grants flight in either form. The model Susume Bachi, eaten by Bian, allows the user to become a hornet, or a half hornet hybrid. It also grants flight in either form. The Uo Uo no Mi, fish, fruits, fish, fish fruit series, has only one model that we know of, model Seiryu, eaten by Kaido, it allows the user to transform into an Azure Dragon or a half Azure Dragon hybrid. It's based off the koi going up the waterfall thing. So it's not a fish. Maybe it was, but it's not now. The Kumo Kumo no Mi, the Spider Spider Fruit series, has one model, the model Rizamigale Grovo Geli, I think, eaten by Black Maria. Allows the user to transform into a Rosamigale Garuvageli or a half Rosamigale Garuvageli hybrid. There are also three other series where they don't appear to have like a series, it's just that one thing. The Mogu Mogu no Mi, the mole mole fruit, eaten by Drophy, allows the user to transform into a mole or a half mole hybrid. The Kame Kame no Mi, the turtle turtle fruit, in by Pecoms allows the user to transform into a turtle or a half turtle hybrid, and the Tama Tama no Mi, the egg egg fruit, eaten by a Tamago, gives the user's body the properties of an egg. When the shell is destroyed, the user will regenerate in a stronger chicken-like form. There's also like eight unnamed zone fruits. There's the one eaten by the Jailer Beasts, 
There's Minotaurus' fruit, which allows them to become a Holstein cow. Minokoala, which allows them to become a koala. Minorhinoceros, which allows them to become a rhinoceros. Minozebra, which allows them to become a zebra. Onigumo, which allows them to become a half spider hybrid. Dalmatian, which allows them to become a half Dalmatian hybrid. And Apoida, which allows these to become a half caterpillar hybrid. And Minu Chihuahua, which allows them to become a Chihuahua. That's all of them. That's like all 150. I think it's 150. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. My voice hurts. Okay, bye.